For some, fly fishing at a lake is best, while others prefer a river. But in the past few years, saltwater fly fishing has increased enormously in popularity. The well-known saltwater species are bonefish and tarpon, but Pacific salmon also offer a tremendous challenge for the fly fisher. We're off the coast of British Columbia's Vancouver Island near Tofino in the Clackwood Sound, where Pacific coho are abundant and will readily chase a good fly pattern. Salmon fishing is under heavy scrutiny by both U.S. and Canadian officials, so check your regulations before setting out on your adventure. Hey everyone and welcome to this episode of Sport Fishing on the Fly. Today we're at Tofino in British Columbia, the west coast of Vancouver Island, as Pacific Salmon. Looking forward to it. We're being guided by Elise Peters today, Way nice West to Resort. Hey, Elise. Hi. Looking forward to it. So when we're going out for these big salmon, what are we looking for when we go out there? Okay, the main thing you're looking for is rocky points, rip tides, kelp beds, bait balls, anything where you know that fish are going to be holding and feeding and the usual thing. And we also um, have past experience with Local you know, knowledge, yeah, right? Yeah. We, we stress that to all our clients, all the people that call us. Make sure you go and get a guide locally because they have all the local experience. Well, they get you into fish right away. You don't Thank have to waste you. time looking for fish. Exactly. Speaking of fish, how big? Big. Uh -huh. Big. My kind of fish. So we came for <laughs> we'll a while. The boat's ready. Let's go. All right. Sounds good. Oh, we made looking, it. Looking forward to today. Should be an awesome day. The sun's yeah. just coming out nice and clear. Real clear skies. Yeah. A little coho fishing. That's right. I think we're uh, going to set up behind the point here and give it a shot and see what we can do. They're jumping right now. So I... jumping. Yeah. And what are we going to use today? To we're going to use uh, some streamer patterns. We've got pink that's working really well right now. Yeah. And I'm going to have Grant, give a chartreuse flashy fly a try. Oh, so I get the pink one. We're going to give you the pink one. Okay, you're good. <laughs> Thanks we'll good change color. it up. Maybe we'll be using different things, right? Cover more water. That's cover, right. Uh, different colors. And, and the gonna, idea is to get down deep. That's right. We're going to be using heavy lines and using the, the tide to bring it in so that it's straight up and down, stripping in. We're going to vary our, our um, retrieve right now just to okay. see what's working. Um, we're just going to do some opposite things. Just to Figure it out. All right, while there's fish Good. jumping, I say we go in and start fishing. Yeah. Definitely. Let's get at it. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, oh there he goes. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, my backing. Oh, no. Lost there we go. My backing. No, oh, no, fish on. on. Oh, they're hidden. Oh, oh yeah. 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 There we go. A little Are you right there? Oh, my, wow, my backing down. You're in up. a knot. Man, oh, man. Oh, just screw oh, it. Keep going. Oh, my God. Gee, where is it? Oh, yeah. What happened to you? My backing, my backing, backing got tangled. It, it, it was spinning out so much line. Oh, I was waiting oh. on my backing and he got off. Broke he me off. He still has lots of energy there. You're right about the. Uh, the tide. <laughs> when we first got here, we had one special time marked out for coho, and that was this morning. The right tide is a full moon tonight. Is that why? Yeah, it wasn't it necessarily that. that. It, it was a strong tide and <laughs> a woman's instinct. <laughs> no, it was a strong tide, okay. and I, I just like the looks of it. It was a good time in the morning. Right. I'm just going to kneel down here. Okay, I'll slide over here for you. Oh, yeah. You want me to keep tension on? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Look how fat Whoa. <laughs> he had lots of energy Boom, left. Boom, gone. This didn't quite get him played out. Good there stuff. Go. Thanks, Lise. You're welcome. Great, huh? Let's try that again. You bet. I want the first guy I had, though. He was probably twice that size. <laughs> but that, that was fun. And Don? Don's out. <laughs> He's out. Poor Don. Don's rattled. <laughs> Don can't believe his line has done this to oh. him. 
<laughs> oh, my backing, my backing. Well, who put the oh, backing on there? Oh, just got it pulled apart. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's just, wow. Look at them all. Oh. See, they're boiling. Oh, here, here, there, there's yeah. one going off here. Right on the oh, end. right there. I can't believe it. It's feeding like crazy. <sighs> Well done. Oh, that was man. that was perfect, Don. Come on, boy. You cast right too. Yeah, he's right where he's boiling, eh? Gee, that's impressive seeing those big fish doing that. Oh, man. <laughs> Especially when you can spot them and cast them. Cast yeah, them. that's just feed. unreal. Yeah. Wow. So, what's our ideal Ryan setup today, Lise? What do we? Uh, Pardon what me? is the ideal setup today? I see uh, you've given me this heavy grain line. This is like a 400 grain line. Yes. Our ideal setup is you moving to the back. Just to help us get down a little bit deeper, because we're finding that the uh, bigger fish, if you can get down a little bit deeper, the bigger fish are what you're going to find. Okay. You, we, well, I know you this get, guy was right on top. You get the smaller fish when oh. you're uh, um, they're aggressively feeding on the surface. Oh, they ever. They're just going steady over okay. there right now. So I've got a, oh, I'm using Whoa. an eight, oh, there it goes. Lots of energy. Nice release, oh, tons of energy. I'm using an eight-weight line, or eight-weight rod with an eight-weight line, and this is a real heavy sink tip. I see you've got probably 30 feet of uh, sink tip on this. 30 feet, yeah. 30 feet, it's probably a 400 grain. I know yesterday we were using a 450 grain, which is a really fast sink. It gets the fly right to the bottom, and then you retrieve it almost straight up if you get the flows just right, which you've got, it's in the perfect situation here. Yeah. And I see Grant's weaseled his way to the front, so I'm going <laughs> to position myself at the back and try to get some more. 